The concept of the Chinese dream, originally introduced by Chinese President Xi Jinping, is the idea of achieving the prosperity of the country, the revitalization of the nation, and the overall well-being of the people. What does the Chinese dream mean for China? Today, I'm going to speak to a number of foreign scholars who have studied China and its policies for years to find out what the Chinese dream means for China's future. I'm Liam, and I've been living in China for the past three years. In this series, I'll be taking you to explore the politics, economics, and culture of China through the perspective of a foreigner. We'll also be exploring China's development over the course of the past five years. Now, let's go explore the story behind China's development. Um, so my first question is from a historical perspective, and, and you're someone who teaches Chinese history, what are your thoughts on, on Xi Jinping's idea or concept of the Chinese dream? Well, he announced it in his original speech at the History Museum in Beijing, so it's, it's clearly deeply tied to history and it's a vision of how uh, present-day China can really sort of think through its very difficult recent past and use that in a constructive and a positive way. And why do you think the, the, the idea of the Chinese dream has struck a chord with so many ordinary Chinese citizens? I think you can really see that in just the massive changes in China over the last few decades. I first came to China in 1999, so in the not quite 20 years since then, I mean, everything is, is virtually different, or is, is manifestly different uh, than it used to be. Uh, you look at the, the trains, you look at the buildings, you look at the, the way people dress, you look at the technology people have. So, I mean, there is the sense that things are on the cusp of a big change here. And, um, you know, you look at over the long, broad sweep of Chinese history, uh, this clearly is a moment of, of positive change in a way that people haven't felt uh, since the opium wars of the 1830s and 1840s. So why do you think that President Xi's concept of this Chinese dream strikes such a chord with ordinary Chinese citizens? So they see in him a leader who had the potential to not just make the dream true for the people in terms of their aspirations, their uh, livelihood, uh, their uh, future prospect, but also be wise enough to keep their visions for the future alive. Because what is the vision for the future? We must also think of the next generation. Generations, actually. Because there is a lot of hope from that leader or leaders about the present, but also about the future. And I think this is how I see people admiring him. Because they have seen that at a time when there are a lot of challenges for the world, as well as for China, in terms of jobs, in terms of better lifestyle, in terms of uh, depleting resources, and all that. Here is a visionary who can make that happen and, and yet uh, leave a mark uh, uh, on history and leave a lot for the next generation. Mm -hmm. So I think this is, this is how I see that. People admire him for that. Now my first question has yeah. to do with uh, President Xi Jinping's idea of the Chinese dream. Uh, are you familiar with the Chinese dream? Sure, yes. Um, from a historical perspective, what are your thoughts on the Chinese dream? China has gone through a very long and torturous path in the, in the past century and, and a half. And so it is uh, every Chinese person's dream to have a Chinese dream mm -hmm. uh, to be realized. But at the same time, I think it's it's uh, important to emphasize that this Chinese dream is not an isolated nationalist kind of dream, mm. but a dream that is connected with China's vision of having a play a responsible and increasingly important role in the world. So why is it that you think that the Chinese dream can strike such a chord among ordinary Chinese citizens? Well, Chinese people has suffered a lot uh, during the last century, uh, as my own parents and grandparents have gone through and uh, I was told a lot of the stories about their life. And so it's, it's a personal experience, it's not just an abstract idea of how important it is to uh, be a strong nation, to be a nation that can stand uh, in a dignified way in the world 
So that's why you know, it touches everybody's heart to have a, a, a Chinese, Chinese dream. And using just one or two sentences, can you describe what you see as the future of China? That's a very difficult question. The future of China. Because um, the future is yet to see, to be seen. Uh, so what I can say is what I hope to see in the future of China as a great nation uh, playing an important role in harmonizing the world. And looking towards the future with, with the Chinese dream in mind, what do you see for China's development over the course of the next five to ten years? I anticipate China to continue to develop in a positive way, not only in terms of economy, Economically, China is uh, playing an increasingly important role in the world and helping uh, other parts of the world to develop uh, at the same time uh, to develop itself. I anticipate China to play an increasingly important role in culture and political uh, aspects because uh, this is probably a more important contribution that China can make to the world, how to harmonize the world. The Chinese dream reflects not just the dream of Chinese President Xi Jinping, but the aspiration of people all across the country. On October 18, 2017, the 19th CPC National Congress will be held here in Beijing. At the Congress, officials will formulate plans to further the realization of the Chinese dream, the effects of which will be felt for years to come.